and welcome back. We're actually cooking Christmas decorations today. You excited? Yeah! Okay, it's a really ah! it's a really basic recipe and quite fun for the kids. Christmas tree. We Not are a bit all over the shot today. I've currently got Juni cooking in the background and we've just made scones. The idea is these have to cook for about two hours in the oven, so I've had to sort of pre-prep to keep the kids busy. Yes. So we'll get started. I may put you into drawing. This may end up with a voiceover. We'll just see how noisy they get. I've just lost one now. So it's a really simple recipe. Uh, it's kind of, I think this is like a 1970s thing that they used to do. I think this would be great to decorate your own tree or give us gifts to like your grandparents or family members. So all you're really going to need is some cookie cutters and really basic pantry ingredients. So you're going to need a cup and a half of flour. I don't think it really can. Cup and a half of flour. I don't think it cares what flour you use. Edison, stand up. This is half a cup of salt. Say it. Half a cup of salt. Half a cup of salt. Two thirds. Two thirds. Cup of water. Cup of water. Chill is preferable. Chill is preferable. And a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then, of course, you're going to need some cookie cutters. This is actually a box I've gotten a while ago, and it's actually meant to be like a gingerbread sort of gingerbread sleigh, but we're actually going to try and turn that into some sort of a decoration. I think you can probably use this shape here, which is the sleigh, if you can see it behind the, um, and make a cookie out of that. And then I've also got a star. What's this one? Is? What's that one? Christmas tree. Christmas tree. And I've actually got these ones, and I'm thinking we could probably make like a bit of a reef out of them. They've got like a little bit of a indentation around, so we might try and make a reef out of those ones there. So, are you ready to cook? Yeah. Let's make it. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. You'll know you've got the right consistency when it feels like a Play-Doh kind of texture. So you can squeeze and mold it and it's not too moist. If it is, just add more flour to it, of course. Now you're gonna see soon that I do a couple of rolls. After testing them, I find you probably need it to be about half a centimeter thick. It cooks better in the oven, it's more pliable, and it's better for the kids to sort of decorate. That's just my tip there, but you'll see I do a couple of rolls. Some come out super thin, I think, which is this one here. And next batter I do is a bit more of a thicker one and then the last one I just had a bunch of leftovers and we turned it into a really thick one which is really good but I just don't think it's quite effective with the dough that you're using Dasha, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes Bring the beat, bring the cheese, bring the cheese Put the lights up, tis the season Need no Grinch types, no Ebenezer Don't believe this, y'all need Jesus Y'all need Jesus so because we are using this as Christmas decorations for the tree, I do need to poke some holes in them. So I just got like a toothpick and just poked holes through the top of each of the ornaments, so to speak. Uh, and then once they are baked and dry, I can like poke a piece of string through it and we can tie it onto the tree. Cook them for about two to two and a half hours. You will know when they are done because they are literally rock hard. Let them dry and then the kids can decorate. Yeah. I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They said, say Nick, what you got up in that back, yeah I got racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah They said, say Nick, what you got up in that back I got racks, racks in my sack, or in my back Merry Christmas, everybody I've just got the kids sitting down with some paint and paintbrushes 
I've got red, green, and gold. I wish I had white paint, but we don't. These are just the paints we use every day when the kids paint outside. They're just from Kmart. And I basically let them just go and use their creative minds. I was very impressed with my son with his color palette. I was quite impressed. Little Miss got extremely creative and I think hers ended up in more of a brownie kind of color. But I love it. They're all going to go on the Christmas tree. Even I got involved and I decorated some myself. Last step, I went and turned them over once they were dried and put the date on the back of them, just the year 2020. For the kids ones, I actually put their name and the date. If you wanted to add something a little extra, something special if you were gifting it to someone, I actually saw in Kmart they had essential oils in like Christmas fragrance. So they had a cinnamon one and then they had, I think it was like a pine tree. I think that would be an amazing thing to like a couple of drops on the back of it, put it in as a gift for someone really great Christmas gift. That is my video for today and as always guys we will talk soon.